Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we have seen it, how to design this delete user form, how to connect this with the dashboard. And after that, we have seen when we click on this, how to generate this group and what will happen when we click on yes and no. So if you haven't watched that video, then just go to description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to see it, how to generate the QR code. So let's quickly start with it. Let me close this one and let me go to this forms. First thing what we have to do is we have to create a new form. So right click on this, click on new and select JFrame form. I'm going to give this a name that is generate QR. QR and hit finish. After this, I'm going to give it a size. So right click on this, go to properties, select this code. And over here, we have to give it a size of 1101 and this one is 501 and hit close. After this, we have to make few more changes. That is right click on this, go to properties, go to code as well and check this one that is gen generated center. So when we select this generate center, what will happen is it will always open the font at the center of the screen. Next thing what we have to do is we have to go to this one and we have to remove the form default close maximize and minimize button. So to remove that, we have to go to this one and select this and decorate it to true and close. After this, what we have to do is we have to go to this user registration, which we have created in the previous video. And I'm going to select this one, this button, as well as these two stuff. Now copy this one and move back to delete user. Sorry, generate QR and paste it over here. So we will move this on the right place. After this, let me just move this one on the left, right click on this, edit text and change this one to generate user QR. You can name anything as per your choice, but I'm going to give it the name of this. Next thing we need one table. So what we will do is we will go to palettes and drag and drop one table over here. Let me move these all a little bit upside so that we can place few buttons on the bottom over here. Let me stretch this one like this. We can stretch till the bottom also. And after that, we can place two buttons over here. So let me quickly drag and drop two buttons. So drag, drop it over here. Copy and paste it once again because we need two different buttons. After this, change the text for this one. That is save QR. And for this one, right click on this, edit text, save QR at and save it. After this, select these both buttons, right click on this, go to properties and go to properties and increase the font for these bold and select 14. Click on OK. After this, let me quickly increase the size for these buttons. 142 and 33. So I'm going to do the same for this one. Right click on this, go to properties, go to properties. And over here, 143. I guess I forgot this one. Size for this one is 142,33. So 142,33. And close it. Close this one as well. Move this one on the right side and this one on the this one on the left side. Next thing what we have to do is we have to right click on this table, go to properties, 
to the properties right click on the stable contents go to rows select all the default rows the empty one and delete these all go to columns and after that we have to add the default column so first column is id second column is name third column is gender fourth column is email after this we need to add few more after email we have to add contact after this we have address after address we have state after state we have country after country we have registration id and let me quickly delete these two so total we have nine count close it and now we can see this we have the everything in place next thing what we have to do is we have to set the background image and also connect this one with the dashboard so if i go to source it's showing why because the course also has been copied from there so it will quickly clear this because this code is not helpful over here okay so this one is clear next thing quickly go to dashboard and if i go to design and here to generate qr double click on this and it will open a pdn generate qr action perform method over here we have to simply call pd utility dot open form and in this one we will pass the form name so that is generate generate qr dot class dot get simple name and after this we have to pass the new instance of delete user sorry uh, generate qr now save it now let's quickly start the application and let's test this so run file and click on generate qr and here you can see this now everything is in place and this one is also working so let me quickly close this one now move back to generate qr and this one first thing we have to set the background image so move back over here so for that also we have created a utility method so pd utility dot set image into this one we have to pass the jframe form so this is the current jframe form so this we have passed after this we have to pass the image images slash abc one dot jpg and the width for this one is one one zero one comma five zero one so let's quickly test this one right click on this and run the file okay so on right side it got stretched so we will check the size for that and we will change the length of this one so go to design right click on this go to properties go to code 115501 so we will copy this one go to source and we will change it now save it now let's test this one so now here you can see this everything is covered next thing what we have to do is we have to set the border for this one that is of black color so click close this one and move back over here this dot get root pane dot set border into this one we have to pass a border object so that we will get from border factory so border factory dot create matty border into this one we will pass the width from each side that is top bottom left right so four comma comma four these and we will simply set the color so that is black make sure to subscribe now save it now let's quickly test this one run file and here you can see this now the border is set of the four width of four so let me quickly close this one next thing what we have to do is when this form shows in that case we have to fetch the users and put the data into the table so right click on this events component component show select this one and inside this one first thing what we have to do is we have to do the default table model so default table model model is equal to 
default table model and let's quickly go over here and we'll change the name for this table so change variable name user table and hit ok go over here user table dot get model and save it move back away alt enter import java x swing table dot default table model then we will copy this one and paste it over here save it next thing what we have to do is we have to get the connection object so connection connection okay so we have to import it so this one is java dot sql dot star so go to the top save it move back to bottom connection is equal to connection provider the class which we have created connection provider connection provider dot get con save it next thing what we will do is we will prepare the statement so statement statement is equal to con dot create a statement connection dot create a statement After this, we will execute statement dot execute execute query. In this one, we will pass the query. So it's showing an error because we I have put minus sign over here in the place of equals. So in this execute query, we will select right query select star from user details and save it. And this query is going to return a result set object that we are going to store. This one itself is. Okay, so we haven't handled, we have to put these all code in the try catch for me. We missed it. So try. Go to the below catch exception ex format these all. Next thing what you have to do is j option pane dot show messages dialog into this null and something went wrong. Save it. Now move back to this one and here you can see this now the error is gone. Now we have written the query that is select star from user details. Next thing what we have to do is we have to this will return a result set object that we are going to accept in the result set. So result set result set is equal to statement. Now we have the result set object. We have to check while result set result set dot next. In that case what we have to do is we have to start adding to the model. So model dot add row. And so this one we have to pass a new object. Object array. And now format it. Alt shift F. Now in enter two times. After this, result set dot get string. And into this one we will pass the ID. Save it. Now we will copy this one total eight times. We will paste this one eight times. One time is there already. Alt Shift F to format. Over here, second one is name. Third one is gender. Fourth one is email. Fifth one is contact. Sixth one is address. After this we have state. After this we have country. After this we have unique registration ID. Now save it. Next thing. 
the task for this one is done. Let's quickly test this one. Go to dashboard, right click on this, run the file. And if we go to this generate QR, here you can see this, we got the, the details. Next thing what we have to do is whenever I select the particular row, then I want to fetch the details from this specific row and show that to the QR code, generate the QR code for that. So let's quickly close this one and close this one and move back to the generate QR. Go to design, over here we have the table. So right click on this, events and into this one we will select mouse click event. So go over here, mouse clicked. Click on this, you will get user table mouse clicked event. Before we start coding into this one, we need two variables which needs to be outside this method. That is of byte array output stream. We have imported it. Next thing we have email is equal to null. Okay. So first thing we will get the selected row, the index of that selected row. So int index is equal to user table dot get selected row. From that row, we need to, from that table, we need to get the model. So table model model is equal to user table dot get model save it next thing we have to get the id so string id is equal to model dot get value at okay we have to import this one get value at we have to pass the index that is this one the particular row and after this which column you want to fetch id is at the zero dot to string Next thing what we have to do is we have to extract the name. So string name is equal to model dot get value at index and the first value dot to string. Next thing we have email. So email is equal to model dot get value at. To this one we have to pass third index. That is third column. Here you can observe zero one two and third one is email dot to string after this we have string registration id is equal to model dot get value at and into this one we have the eighth column dot to string next thing what we have to do is we have to create a map where we will put all the values in the key value pair and then with that value we are going to generate the QR code. So let's quickly create a map. So map of string comma string and this is data is equal to new hash map. Alt and enter import alt and enter import this one too after this in this data i have to put id first so the key is id and the value i'm going to put is also id so data dot put this time i'm going to put name comma name data dot put email comma email Save it. Next thing, data dot put registration ID comma registration ID. Alt shift have to format. Next thing, what we have to do is we have to create a JSON JSON object. For that, I have already added the chart the first video itself. JSON JSON is equal to new JSON. And move back away, alt enter and com.google.json json. Save it. Next thing what we will do is we will create a string json data is equal to json dot to json. We have to pass the string the data object into it. So data. Now save it. 
we got the string JSON. Next thing what we have to do is we have to create the array. Sorry, we have to create the QR code. So for that, out is equal to, we have already created one buffer array output string. So whenever we are selecting that particular row, so we are only generating the QR and storing that into this byte array output stream and also showing the same into the uh, this label, but not saving it unless until we won't press in any of these two buttons. So move back over here. So here we will use QR code from this one dot from alt enter alt enter QR code QR code dot from from into this one we have to pass the JSON data. Next thing dot with size and you have to pass the size. So for I have to pass 322 and width for this one and height for this one will be 286. Next thing you have to convert this one to image type png dot stream and save it. Now we have this image in the form of byte array output stream. Now what I'm going to do is I have to create the image from this one byte array image data is equal to out dot to byte array. After this what we will do is we will create an icon from this image array. So image icon icon is equal to new image icon into this one we will pass image data save it import this one Next thing we have to simply set this particular one into the label. So LBL image dot set icon and we will set the icon to this one. Save it. Next thing we have to handle the exception also. So catch exception ex and we will simply call e dot print start trace and save it. Alt shift F to format it. Now the task for this one is done. So what we are doing is we are creating a extracting the data from the that particular row then creating a map convert after the extracting value what we are doing is we are creating a map in which we are adding all the values by the name so id name email registration id and we are adding these all stuff after this map we are converting this into a string in the json format after this with that same data we are generating the qr code so let's quickly test this one. Go to dashboard, right click on this, run the file. And go to generate QR. So if I click on this, here you can see this with every data, the QR code is being generated. Whenever I select another one, so the data is changing. So the QR code is also changing. Okay. So this is working as expected. So whenever I click on this button, then I want to save this image into my QR code folder. So quickly close this one and move back to the QR, go to design, right click on this, change variable name and change this one to BTN save QR and click on OK. And the another button is right click on this, change this one to BTN save QR at hit OK. Okay, after this, what we have to do is simply double click on this and this will generate a PDN save QR action form. So over here, first thing what we have to do is we have to put everything in the cache block. Exception, EX. And over here, we will show J option pane dot show message dialog. Do this one, null and something went wrong. Save it. Inside this one, first thing what we will check is if QR code is generated or not. Out is equal is equal to null. It means that QR code is not generated. Move back away. This out is basically the byte array output stream which we have created from the data. If this is the case where the QR code is not generated, in that case, J option pane dot show message dialog 
In this one, we will pass the current one, this, and into this one, we will pass no QR generated. Save it. And from here, we will simply return it. Now quickly run it and let's quickly test this one. So if I click on this, here you can see this no QR generated. If I select any one, now the QR is filled over here. If I click on this, now that message is not coming. It means that it is not going inside the if block. Let me quickly close this one. After this if block, what we have to do is we have to get the QR codes path. So string default dir path is equal to pd utility dot get path and into this one we will pass simply qr codes so this is a utility method which we have previously created and this qr code is this folder name once we get the path we will check file directory directory is equal to new file into this one we will check for default dir if that dir exists if the if this dictionary or this particular path that is qr code doesn't exist in our code then what we will do is we are going to create the path so if the directory dot exists and i have added an explanation mark into the initial if this is the case it means that not exists so we will simply create the directory so directory dot kdirs So this will create the folder if it doesn't exist. After this, what we will do is we will create the file. File default file is equal to new file. And in this one, we will pass the directory comma email plus dot jpg. Now save it. Next thing what we have to do is we have to simply use a try and catch block handle the exception x inside this one j option pane dot show messages into this one we will pass this comma error saving qr code Now the header for this one will be error. After this, J option pane dot error message. This is the icon. Alt Shift F to format. Now move back to the try block. Over here, what we will do is we will use Java dot neo dot file dot files dot write, and we will pass the default file dot to path. Into this one, we will pass the output string, output byte array. So out dot to byte array. Now save it. Next thing what we have to do is once this file is saved, we will simply show the message j option pane dot show message null. After this, we will show the message qr code saved successfully. Now save it. Now quickly test this one. Right click on this run file. And if I select this one and save QR, QR code saved successfully. Click on OK and here you can see this. Now the QR code has been generated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this specific folder itself. Safety delete with users, refactor it. Now I'm going to move back over here. Now generate this one and save QR. Here you can see this showing that QR code saved successfully. Here you can see this, it has generated the folder as well with the image, the QR code. If I double click on this, it will open the QR code also. Okay. So the task for this one is done. Next thing what we have is we have the save QR element. So double click on this and we will open up like this one, a method that is BT and save, save QR at action. So inside this one, first thing we will put the everything in try and cache block. And over here we will show j option pane dot show message and into this one we will pass null and over here simply 
something went wrong. Save it. I'll shift F to format. Inside this one, what we will do is first we will check that if out is equal to equal to that. Then we will again show the same message. That is J option pane dot show message dialog this and to this one we will show the message that is no QR generated save it and if this is the case then simply return from here next thing what we have to do is we have to open the file chooser so let's make some space and over here j file chooser Save it, move back over here, Alt and Enter. And import this one. Copy this one and paste it over here. Save it. Now the error is gone. Next thing what we have to do is we have to use this file chooser dot set file chooser dot set dialog title. And in this one, I'm going to set the title that is save QR code at Save it after this file chooser dot set selected file into this one we will pass new file and we will pass email plus dot png that is the image name after this we will use show save dialog so that will return an integer object so user selection is equal to file chooser dot show save dialog inside this one we will use the current component that is this save it next thing what we will do is we will check if user selection is equal is equal to j j file chooser dot approve option in that case what we will do is we will save that particular file so file file to save is equal to file chooser dot get selected file then we will use the try and catch block again and this one again we will show j option pane dot show message dialog and into this one pass this current component after this we will pass the message that is error saving qr code after this we will show this one the header for this one is error and after this logo for that one j option pane dot error message now format this one now scroll down and jump into the try block and over here what we will do is we are going to use again java dot new dot file dot files dot write and to this one we will pass the path so file to save dot to path after this, we have to pass the byte array. So, out dot to byte array. Now close this and after this, we will simply show the message. J option pane dot show message dialog. Into this one, pass this and QR code saved successfully. save it now quickly the task for this one is done now quickly go to dashboard right click on this run a file generate qr select this one save qr at and what i'm going to do is in the document i'm going to create a new folder that is test qr and just open it and inside this one i'm going to save it so here you can see this qr code saved successfully let me quickly open it so here we have test QR. If I open it, here you can see this test one at the rate venerator.com. So the image has been generated in the QR code. It's saved wherever I want to save it. And the secondary thing is if I select this one, again the save QR code is working. So if I selected all three and save QR code, so three QR codes is generated. If I close it and close it, if I go to QR codes, here you can see that we have two. Why? Because 
it may happen that it's the same name for the two keyword posts or I guess I have deleted it. So it will quickly generate for all of these three. Yeah, so now here you can see this, we have the three different QR codes. So it means that everything in this one is working as expected. And if I go over here, here you can see this, everything is working as expected. So that's all for this video guys. In the next video, we are going to see how to design code for view QRs. So stay tuned, subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.